Okay, so just to show um, a few good games that are available for Android TV uh, and run on quite low powered Android TV devices uh, with a joypad. Um, so they're pleasurable to play uh, on a TV. Now this particular device is an MTech Gembox uh, and you can see that it's got a custom interface which is is very good actually. Uh, and one of the special things about it was uh, you had the option uh, under games of looking at what games were available. Um, so they, they collated a load of games uh, and showed you things that worked with joypads because the Google Play Store is still terrible for this use. Um, but because it's a no longer supported device, you tend to find that they don't. this doesn't get updated. So you can go through the older stuff and, and use that, but, uh, but it's not updated anymore. So I went through uh, and I thought, let's find two or three games uh, that were good uh, with a joypad. Now, Streets of Rage was the first one. Uh, this is one of the Sega Genesis remakes, and that's why it works well on a low-powered Android device, because the MTech box and other boxes around, uh, they really aren't that powerful. So a lot of the more sophisticated Android games just don't run smoothly, so they're less pleasurable to play. But these run at full speed and as they're meant to play. Now some of these games as well, you're going to need a, uh, a mouse and keyboard. Um, and I've got a little USB device there in the MTEC box, um, but this at mouse and keyboard because I couldn't find a way of selecting start. I mean, I could on the uh, MTEC Gem box, you have got a mouse option on there, but it takes a while to switch in and out. So if you've got a mouse and keyboard set up, uh, you can just scroll down and click on start. And then one player. But once in the game, you can go back to the joypad and the joypad works brilliantly. So the start button works, uh, select, uh, it gives you a load of options. But you can't, see I can't select now the resume option without the mouse and keyboard. So again, I could do it on the Gemtech controller by switching into mouse mode, but uh, I'd rather just keep it in joypad mode because it just works a lot quicker. The two player option isn't two controllers, but I'll, I'll go through some more two controller options uh, later on in this video. So we've got pause at the top, which is Y, punch, and jump. And that's a special weapon. So that was the X button, which was special weapon, which obviously wasn't a good time to use that. So as a game, it, it runs really fast. Um, you can use it with the analog or the digital stick on the gem box. And so these games, uh, these Sega games are free, but they're ad supported uh, and they have to be connected to the internet. You can pay for them uh, and then you can use them offline. So if, if you're gonna use it in an area where you, you haven't got access to the internet, it's there as well. Ooh. Anyway, so that's Streets of Rage. Uh, now if I hit the home button, nothing happens. There you go. Um, so other games that I found uh, looking around, because uh, you can you can do searches for joypad games, but the Play Store's just terrible for, for collating it. It'd be nice to be able to put different options, Android TV, joystick option, um, and that would work a lot better, but I just sort of sifted through and spent a while doing it. Uh, this is a game, Dan the Man, which runs very well on Apple TV with a joypad, um, so I knew this would be good. It's got a few graphical issues, but it's still playable uh, and still a very good game. So really responsive, good graphics, uh, just a nice, enjoyable, old-style game to play. You can see there's a bit of a graphical issue there where the background disappeared. But as I say, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to affect the gameplay. Uh, and I don't get those graphical issues on Apple TV, but this is obviously a much, much cheaper device. Okay, so 
another one that uh, I found that was really enjoyable. I'm going to do another video with Bomb Squad when I've got my kids around so I can show how it works with other devices because I got it to work with my iPad last night as a controller so it looks like if you haven't got enough controllers you can get loads of people playing it um, but I'll do another video on Bomb Squad a lot of these other Sega videos I'll uh, Sega games I'll do in other videos as well uh, so one more game to show uh, before I go on to emulators emulators is really the strong point on this So this was a, a surprising game because this, this is very well suited to uh, touch this game, Vector. Um, and I think it was one of those games that, yeah, so pressing any button on the controller doesn't seem to do anything. But if I press escape, or is it just tap on the screen? Yeah, just so tap with the mouse. Uh, again, you can always switch back to mouse mode on the Gemtech controller, but I always like to try and avoid that. Uh, so it's also good... Like this screen, again, is not controllable by a, by a joystick. So it's nice to have the mouse and keyboard support. Hunter mode is locked. And this is a great game for, for um, touchscreen devices, but actually with a joypad, it worked. Well, I think, am I already? Yeah, so now I can use uh, the joystick to control. Oh no, see I can't get down to play. So again, back to mouse and keyboard. But once you're in the game, it's just up, down, left and right really. Get rid of that mouse pointer. Oh, miss that. So pressing up on the joypad does all the vaulting techniques. Uh, if you press down, it kind of swipes through, and if you press right, it, it runs through. But this is a really enjoyable, playable game. That was close. And really good animation, and, and not at all laggy on this device. You know, this device actually works really well with this. I'll do one more level on this because it's, uh, oh, I only got one star. Watch video. Let's not watch a video. So again, another free game, but still very good, very, very enjoyable on TV. So basically, you're, you're trying to get rid of these, get away from these guys. So you've got to, <laughs> he's obviously very close to me at the moment. That might give me some room. There was a Mirror's Edge game for iPhone, which was really, really good, based on this sort of, oh, there you go, he's got me. Uh, anyway, let's do another game. Yeah, the Mirror's Edge game was, was even better than this, but it, it got withdrawn from the App Store for whatever reason, so I, I, you don't see it around anymore, but it was, it was very, very good. Right, so that's, what was that, three games. Uh, so I think rather than go for native Android games, uh, let's go down the emulator route. Now, I really love BMX games, and uh, this is one of the best games of all time, Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX on the PlayStation. So I've got a PlayStation emulator here, which, which works really well. Now, I've also got a Dreamcast emulator, but the Dreamcast one, it isn't quite right. Uh, it, it, there's just something either a little bit too fast or, or the speed isn't consistent, whereas the PlayStation one, does feel oh 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 run game reboot here we go uh, and the video video section works fine as well 
but also just works really well on this MTech controller. You can get this MTech controller for other Android TV boxes and I would recommend it. Uh, and it also works with phones. I've got a, an old LG phone which is more powerful than this Android box. So if I've got uh, games that are more sophisticated, I'll use that. Um, but this, uh, and, and this PlayStation emulator, I haven't found a PlayStation game it hasn't run uh, satisfactorily. It is, it is really, really good. And this is on a 40 inch 4K TV and it still looks pretty reasonable. I mean the, the uh, PlayStation graphics could do with a bit higher resolution, but uh, it's an old game. There you go, seems to be just the right speed uh, as the game was. And game saves work on, work on this as well, very well. Right, so that's, that's Mirror on the PlayStation emulator, and obviously you can use that to do lots of other games. Nice backflip into Nose Wheelie. Um, and let's do the Dreamcast version, which is much better graphics, but I, I just can't get it to run at exactly how I want it to. Uh, it just, and I played around with it recently, changed it to widescreen mode, messed around with frame skip, uh, but this is a Dreamcast emulator. It wasn't a, it wasn't a uh, console I ever tried really back in the day. But the graphics on this are really good, really crisp. Struggles with the video, as you can see the video played fine on the PlayStation version before, uh, but the emulation seems to struggle with that. If you're watching this and you found a better Dreamcast emulator for Android, I'd be interested because uh, I really would, because they're so cheap to buy these Dreamcast games uh, that I don't mind paying out for them because I know I'll play it. 1998. There you go, straight away you can see much crisper graphics, uh, even on the load screens. Very fast loading. So, oh, the sound is not is not the best either, but really, it just looks great. Oh, bit ambitious front flip there. You need a lot of height in this game to do a front flip, whereas back flips you can pull off all the time. Oh, it's going to land in a grind then. Uh, come on. Actually, whatever. Messing about with it yesterday, I do. It. I'm not sure if it does feel too fast now, or if it if it feels alright. I mean, it is. It is quick, isn't it? Uh, and it's it's just a bit more of an enjoyable speed on the PlayStation. Slow. Yeah, it just doesn't seem to be consistent with the speed. See, it seems to run really fast. Uh, I should check the seconds really, shouldn't I? Anyway, so another another great emulator. Um, and I need to look at uh, Dreamcast games that support two-player controllers. Um, and uh, same with PlayStation to see uh, if that emulator works with two-player games in the same way. But something that does work with two-player games is uh, the SNES emulator which is on here. Uh, and this SNES emulator, so that Dreamcast one was Rycast. Uh, and I, there's a video on my YouTube channel of how to set up, I think I, I struggled with the game saves, but I put a video on there, a little tutorial, it's not a great one, it was a lot while ago. Um, but uh, yeah, this SNES emulator, what's good about this 
is it works perfectly well with two controllers. So if I load up a recent game, so you can see I'm controlling two players in a co-op mode, and this is a brilliant game, really, really good. Uh, just go and hide there. Am I hidden? But as a co-op game, uh, it's just so playable. Um, so, what's it called? Uh, Sunset Riders, I think it's called. So, not so easy like this. Not so easy trying to do it with two controllers. But I'll go through. I think I'll go through multiplayer games with with my son and uh, show a few on there. But I just wanted to show that it it works actually very well uh, with two controllers. Uh, especially on this M Tech, um, but that should work with pretty much any Android TV device. Um, okay, that was some games running on the uh, on a low-powered Android TV device with a joypad control. Uh, I'm going to do more videos like this, uh, more on the M Tech Gem Box as well, um, because I, I really think it's a great device, especially for emulation, um, but uh, but also just showing what new games come along that have joypad support uh, and more importantly multiplayer support. I'm going to go down that route uh, I think next uh, to show what sort of multiplayer games are available for this device because it's so small it's so easy to to pick up and take to uh, someone else's house or anything like that or take on holiday. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.